Hey guys, I want to introduce you to one of my favorite paper crafting products. It's called the Color Spritzer and it is the perfect no fuss airbrush because it's simple. There's no cans of air needed, there's no big gases and compressors, no batteries required, no big investment and you can actually use all the markers you've got at home that you already own. This is designed, this little tool, to turn any marker that you've got into an airbrush and it really is quite simple and when we say just about any marker we mean it it could be your pro markers your copic markers your sharpie markers fabric markers highlighters any of the pens you've got at home even food decorating pens we're going to show you how you can airbrush on food as well it's a simple tool and it works you're the motor and that's the neat part about it and it works with all different tips of markers different sizes i'm going to just unscrew this screw here and i'm going to take this sleeve out and what this allows me to do is fit in some of the larger markers now it could be a wedge tip marker a bullet tip marker or a brush tip marker. Here I'm using the wedge tip and you just sort of play with it. This will allow you to get a different spray each time. Now the closer you go, the more intense the spray. The further away you go, the lighter the spray. So it's really quite simple. Now when it comes to doing stenciling, you're gonna love this. Basically, you can use a post-it note if you want. Um, all I'm doing here is I've just got a, a, a cut out to stop any overspray. But you can blend and you can shade just like you would with a real airbrush system. So I'm going to use this one, I think, on the brush tip here. And just, it's a smaller marker, but you just tighten the screw. And all we're going to do is add a little bit of color here. You can go in a dot method. You can go in a sweeping method if you want to. To change the color, all I'm going to do is just change the marker pen. Let's add a little bit of fun in here. I'm going to use a highlighter. But this doesn't actually hurt your marker in any way. It's just blowing the ink off the tip of the marker. And you can get some really incredible effects for your paper crafting. You can see here the nice effect I've got with that. And it's dry pretty much the moment it hits the surface for you. And that's a lot of fun. Anything can become a stencil. So here I just use different marker pens and a pre-done stencil. What if you wanted to do something as simple maybe as a piece of lace? So that's what I'm doing here. And again, to change the marker, I love the fact that there's nothing that I have to worry about washing up, nothing I have to worry about cleaning up. All I do is just change the marker and I'm ready to go. One of the things I like to do is also buy some uh, items like your embellishments. You know, buy them white and then custom color them to the way you want to custom color them. But here, all you're going to do is just squeeze the bulb, let the air get back in, squeeze, let the air get back in, and blend and shade. If you do mixed media, if you want to use screens, I've used all sorts of odd things to get different imprints. Take a look at the effect that we've got here. Maybe you want to add an embellishment on the front. You can custom design your own paper. Making a card is really, really simple to do. And I mentioned that you can also use this with your Copic markers. It could be your Copic uh, Chow markers. Um, as long as you just position that tip of the marker over the air hole, you're ready to go. And just tighten the screw that holds the marker pen in place and away you spray. Now if you've got tons of these markers, I'm sure you may have a can of air as well, but sometimes you want to save that. Sometimes you just want to spritz a little bit of color. It matches. Maybe you want to spritz some color on a stamp if you want to. And now you can be able to use this for your rubber stamping as well. And it really is that simple. So blend and shade like a real airbrush system on your paper crafts. Real quick, let me show you. Awesome for fabric. This is fantastic because it actually goes right into the fabric. So for your stretchy knits and t-shirts. I mentioned, um, I have to show you this because this is so beautiful. If you do mixed media, you can use this for rubber stamping. It does a fantastic job of just spritzing a little bit of color really simply and really easily without a lot of muss or fuss. Now, again, I could use fabric markers. I've used Sharpie markers. I've used, yeah, it's lunchtime. I've used all different types of markers. Now I'm actually going to use a food dye marker pen. And again, it's not getting into the system, so you can be able to use it with your Copic markers. And the next thing you can turn around, you can use it with your food dye markers. But maybe you want to spritz a little bit of color, a little bit of fun for a theme and a party and onto your cupcakes and you can do it just that quick and easy. So the ultimate no fuss airbrush. You're using markers that you already own. 
And all you need to do is just pick yourself up a color spritzer and spritz away.